Hi everyone. So in this video, we're gonna see some electronic samples and circuit that every technician or student should know. So let's get started. So as you can see here, we have many samples that we're gonna see. So this, the first sample is the resistor, as you can see. Basically, this is the sample for the resistor. Here we have another sample for the resistor, as you can see, but this is basically a US resistor. Here, this is a variable resistor. Okay, the sample of a resistor plus the arrow in the middle means variable resistor. This also is a variable resistor. So always the reference for the resistor is R. Here we have another sample. Basically, this is a potentiometer. Okay, a potentiometer. Here, this is a ceramic capacitor or a PF capacitor. This is an electrolytic capacitor symbol or a polarized capacitor with plus and minus. This is basically an LED or a light emitting diode with two arrows, as you can see. Okay, here we have, as you can see, the anode and the cathode. Here we have a polarized capacitor. This could be an electrolytic capacitor or a tantalum capacitor. Here we have the symbol for the amplifier. It has two inputs and one output, as you can see. So this is an amplifier. Here, basically, this is the triac with two diodes. As you can see, this is a triac. Here, as you can see, basically, this is a phototransistor, okay? This symbol is for a phototransistor. So basically, a normal transistor receives a voltage or a current in its base, but for the phototransistor, it receives a light, okay? In its base. Basically here, this is the symbol for a normal transistor with base, collector, and emitter, as you can see. So the arrow here, as you can see, is from base towards the emitter means this is NPN transistor okay when the arrow is towards the emitter means NPN transistor but if the arrow in the other direction means from emitter to base means a PNP transistor so as you can see for the fault transistor it receives the light in its base from another diode, from another LED diode. Okay, when it receives the light, the transistor will be activated. Okay, and the current will pass from collector to emitter. Here, as you can see, this is a sample for a normal transistor. As you can see, we have base, collector, emitter with the arrow toward the emitter, means this is NPN transistor. Here we have a sample for a diode. Okay, basically here we have the positive terminal and the negative terminal. So the diode let the current pass in one direction and blocks it in the other direction. That's why we use the diode for protection purposes. So as you can see, here basically this is an opto isolator or optocoupler so opto isolator or optocoupler composite of two components inside it an led diode and a phototransistor or a triac as you can see here we have a photo and led with two arrows and over here basically we can find a phototransistor so basically the opto isolator or optocoupler is used to adjust or to control the output voltage. We find it in the switch mode power supply or flyback power supply. So let's say now some electronic and electrical circuits. We're gonna discuss these circuits in order to go deeper into understanding the electronic circuits, basically this is a basic circuit for beginners, of course. So the first circuit, as you can see, we have here cables, a cell or a battery, as you can see, with plus and minus terminals. Here we have a switch, 
and we have over here a lamp as you can see so basically it's normal when the switch is closed the current will pass through the switch and the lamp will be eliminated so here of course this is the same circuit a simple circuit we have a battery a switch and a lamp okay so this is basically a basic circuit here basically we have another circuits where we have a cell or a battery a switch and basically we have three switches here and three lamps as you can see the two lamps is in serial and the third one is in parallel with the two lamps here as you can see this is the direction of the current it will pass through this switch to the switches so as you can see we have two lamps in series and the third one is in parallel with the two lamps okay here as you can see basically we have another circuit where we have a resistor and as you can see two voltage are supplies okay so basically you can find a resistor with this symbol or this symbol here of course we have another circuit where we have as you can see a power supply as you can see this is the direction of the current and here we have a ceramic capacitor this is the resistor and inductor okay we have r and l okay so the reference for the resistor is r and the reference for inductor is l as you can see but basically this is another symbol for the inductor basically this is the most used symbol for inductor here we have another circuit where we have a transformer and bridge rectifier or diode rectifier. As you can see, this is the first winding. We have the secondary winding. This is basically a transformer. And of course, here we're going to find a capacitor, a filtering capacitor. So this kind of symbols, we find this schematic in the switch mode power supply or flyback power supply. Thank you.